Here's more breaking news. For the first time, doctors at Children's Hospital are talking about a mysterious illness that can leave children paralyzed. There are three cases of acute flaccid myelitis here in the Pittsburgh area. And the Centers for Disease Control recently issued a public warning about the growing number of cases across the country. John Shumway joins us live now with more on what local doctors had to say today. John? Yeah, and the doctors are not talking about those three cases that they're handling here, but they are talking about acute flaccid myelitis. Now, what they tell us is that this could be caused by any one of a hundred enteroviruses, and this is something that kids get all the time. It is not uncommon. These enteroviruses make children sick, they recover, and nothing more. But just occasionally, a child will progress to the point of having AFM. There is no rhyme or reason as to why a child will get it. But the typical symptoms that you see from a virus, like a cold or a fever, and that kind of thing, is not an indication that a child is coming down with AFM. The indication is a weakness in one arm or both arms or, and maybe trouble walking. That is when they feel like they have a case of AFM and they start the treatments for it. However, there is no known cure. There is no known vaccine, which of course leaves parents and grandparents really wondering, what am I supposed to do to protect my child? Because this is all very scary. And especially about things that seem mysterious and when doctors and science tell you we don't fully understand it, I mean, those things are scary. I think one is, uh, like any infection, I mean, the things that we talked about, about hand hygiene and, you know, uh, people coughing and sneezing into their elbow and trying to not spread germs in the family. I think another thing for people to remember is just the perspective. Yes, this is scary. Yes, it can be a very serious disease, but it's extremely rare. Just to put that in context, you know, there's an enormous amount of attention to AFM right now, and people are very appropriately concerned. Uh, and there's, you know, in the last few years, about 150 cases a year, and we might have a number like that this year. Yeah, and currently the number is around 63, according to the CDC. He went on to point out that literally thousands of children in this country will be hospitalized with the flu and hundreds may die from that. And that your child is at a much bigger risk when you strap them into the car in a car seat and go for a ride. So the perspective is important here. The fact that they don't know what causes this and they have no known cure or vaccine is disturbing. But again, the rarity, Dr. Williams says, should be reassurance to families. And also, if your child is in school, he says they don't worry about it spreading child to child because these viruses are around and children are exposed to them all the time. The difference is what causes a particular child to come down with AFM, and they simply don't know. We'll have a lot more on this coming up tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. Till then, live at Children's Hospital, John Shumway, KDKA TV News. All right, John, thanks. Now, the Pine Richland community is drumming up support after a young boy was diagnosed with that illness. Bryson Ackerman is the son of Pine Richland basketball coach Jeff Ackerman, and he is one of the three patients at Children's Hospital with AFM. A GoFundMe account for the family has now been set up and it has already passed and raised more than $17,000.